Hello everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to Fun Friday. We have got boxes to open, lots of different things, and I thought we would just do it all in one little video because why not? Um, let's start with this because I know what this one is. Um, I've talked about Good Mythical Morning before. I love them. Uh, if you don't know who they are, Rhett and Link have a YouTube show. They've had it for years. They're very funny. Um, I am a, a paid member. Um, I'm the third degree mythical beast is what they call it. And with that, one of the perks I get is every three months, they have a little promotional item that they send you for free. And this is what this is. Um, so let's open it up and have a look. It changes every three months. It can be anything from clothes to bobbleheads to blanket to lunch boxes, like you name it, they have different things. Um, why is this the box so hard to open? I also don't want to hurt my nails. Um, we'll get there. Hang on. Ugh. You know what? There's a pull tab, but they never work. I should have opened this before you guys. Oh my God. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Cramp. It's okay. There we go. Ha. There we go. Oh yes. Perfect. This is a box. Um, here it is. It is a vinyl record. Okay. Vinyl record. Um, <laughs> that's Rhett. Uh, this vinyl record is my hair goes down and there's link. My hair goes up. So if you'll notice, Rhett has very long flowing hair. Link has very tall, uh, you know, fluffy hair. Um, so they're actors, singers, comedians, the whole thing. Um, they've had a few vinyl records. Um, so this just goes with the collection. I obviously, I, I don't have a record player. Um, I have a few of their vinyl records that I got. Uh, I, I, so far have them. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or if I'm going to sell them, uh, because I don't have a record player. I can't see me ever owning a record player. And as much as it'd be fun to listen to their records, I just don't have the way to do it. So not sure what's happening with that, but it's still fun to get free things. So thank you, Rhett and Link. I appreciate it. Um, let's do this one next. We have Amazon. My daughter's been waiting for this. Um, I actually, <laughs> Halloween, she's changed her mind a million times of what she wants to be for Halloween. And I'm hoping she doesn't change it again, but she might. Uh, we had seen the wizard of Oz, a play and she loved it. And she wanted to be Dorothy for Halloween. And then her dad was going to go as, uh, I think the scarecrow and I was going to go as a cowardly lion, but then she changed her mind and she said, no, I don't want to do that. I'm like, okay. So she's decided she wants to be a bunny for Halloween. Um, normally we like to do family costumes where we all kind of match this year. I think we're just going to all be different. Uh, my husband is going to go as star Lord, uh, from guardians of the galaxy. My daughter wants to go as a bunny and I was going to go as Dino from the Flintstones. If you're a child from the eighties, you know, um, they had this really cute inflatable Dino costume. I'm like, how adorable. I wanted to be it so bad, but my daughter informed me that I'm not allowed to because she wants to be my pet bunny, which means I need to be in her mind, something that would have a pet bunny. Now she also doesn't want to just be any bunny. She wants to be a bunny with wings. And she asked me, mom, can I be a bunny with wings? And I said, absolutely. You can, you can be whatever you want. So that's what she's going to be. Apparently in her mind, I should be Tinkerbell. I don't particularly want to be Tinkerbell. Um, but in her mind, Tinkerbell has wings. She's a bunny with wings. It makes sense that she would be Tinkerbell's pet, even though Tinkerbell didn't have pets and Tinkerbell is literally this big. So I've tried to convince her that I could be something else. 
I'm like, well, maybe I could be a butterfly. And she goes, no, I can't be your pet bunny if you're a butterfly. And I'm like, okay. So I'm trying to find something that I actually want to be, but also something that my daughter's happy with because I try to be a good mom. And if it makes her happy, I'm going to do it. Right. So I might end up being Tinkerbell, but I also tried to convince her and say, well, what if mommy's a bunny too? And she might go for that. Um, so my costume still hasn't quite been decided. I know at a time. Um, but we'll see what I thought would be cute. Again, if you're older like me, you know, the movie, a Christmas story, uh, Ralphie, the main character, his aunt sent him this horrendous pink bunny costume. That's hilarious. I thought I could do that. That way I'm a bunny and she's a bunny and she's happy. Um, so we'll see, but in this box should be her bunny costume. She's been asking for it daily. I hope it fits her. Um, I hope it fits. They have different sizes on there. I went with the larger size cause I'm like, if I get the size she is now, she's going to outgrow it right away. And my daughter likes to dress up. So we'll see. Um, okay. Here it is. It's in here. It says bunny costume. I got her a large. It says it's for height 45 inches to 50 inches. Okay. So I'm hoping it fits. Let's take it out and look. I also like these kinds of costumes because it's always cold on Halloween where we live. Sometimes we even have snow. And as a child who grew up in the eighties, going trick or treating in a place where you have snow is horrible because you have to put on your winter jacket and then you can't see your costume. So I like costumes that you can either wear over your jackets, um, or they're warm. And this is basically a onesie. So I'm hoping this will work. Oh my God, you guys. Okay. Here it is. So it's got the little things on the ankles. Okay. Pink pink belly. Okay. And then it's got like this little hood with the ears, which aren't really staying up. So I'm not sure about that. And then it's got this face. Now what we might do because the ears aren't staying up is we might get her, um, bunny ears, right. That she can wear. Um, and we might just not do this hood at all. We might just keep it down because I also bought her a little bunny nose that goes around with an elastic. So let's open this up and see, because this is going to be cute. I mean, it's good. It's been in the package, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to fix it a little bit. The whiskers are kind of out of control, but you guys, how cute is this, right? Hang on, hang on. Oh my God, you guys. How cute is that? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. So we'll see if she likes it. So that's why we might not do the hoodie. We might not. We might just do this with some ears. We'll see. We'll have to get some white ears with pink in the middle. Um, but I hope it fits her. We're going to try it on and make sure. Uh, I hope it does because she has been asking for this. And it does feel quite warm, which is good because like I said, it gets really cold here. Um, so I'm excited about that and I know she will be too. So that's awesome. Um, yay. Okay. One more box to go. Now this, oh guys, this is a heavy box. This is from Bath and Body Works. Okay. I got a little email. They were having a sale on their soaps. $3 and 25 cents a soap, which is a pretty good deal. It's very comparable to what their boxing day soap deal deal is. Um, we do have two stores where I live, uh, but I was lazy and I'm like, oh, I'm just going to order online. Yes. It cost me $10 in shipping. Okay. Mm. But I'm like, you know what? $10 in shipping or my option is to go to Midtown Plaza where I have to pay for parking. And it probably would have cost me at least six bucks in parking. Or I have to go to the other mall, which has free parking, but now I'm in a mall and that's dangerous for a shopaholic. I probably would spend more than $10 on other things I don't need. 
So I thought the better of the two evils is just to order online and pay the shipping. And that's what I did. Um, I like to, I, number one, I like Bath and Body Works soap. I like having my soap seasonal. So I have spring soaps, I have summer soaps, I have fall soaps, I have winter soaps. Now, right now, I am completely out of spring and summer soaps, which is okay because we're in fall now. And I do have, I think, enough fall and winter soaps, but I wanted to get soaps for spring and summer. So I ordered some. Okay. Let's look at what I ordered. Um, I got golden citrus and vanilla. I also got the foaming hand soaps. I only like foaming. I don't like the gel stuff, the deep cleanse. I don't like. So um, this is the golden citrus and vanilla. I got eucalyptus mint. I got cactus blossom. Kitchen Lemon. I use this one in my kitchen. I love it. Uh, orange and Ginger. I haven't tried that one. It sounds good. Vanilla Coconuts. Cherry Almond Shortbread. Now this one technically would be like a fall one for me, but Cherry Almond Shortbread sounds amazing. So I did get a few fallish ones in here. Speaking of, uh, Pumpkin Cupcake. Yes, please. Um, sunshine and lemons. Yum, yum. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I have that one in my bathroom right now and I love it. So I had to get another one. Uh, sun washed citrus. Cranberry orange seltzer. Again, fall. I know I did get fall once. Fall's my favorite time of year, you guys. And then peach bellini. Love it. Um, so I just, I had to get the soaps. Um, so I got a few, let, let's see. Okay. Peach Bellini is summer, spring, summer, sun wash citrus is spring, summer. You guys are all kind of fall, your fall, uh, sunshine and lemons, vanilla, coconut, golden citrus and vanilla probably is a fall one, but let me smell it. Hang on. Let me see if I can open it and smell. Oh no. I would say that's a spring, summer. Yay. Um, the eucalyptus, the cactus blossom. And what about the orange and ginger? That one's, mm, let's see how citrusy it is. Oh yeah. That one could be spring, summer. Okay, cool. Um, so I would say I got eight spring and summer scents and then I got four fall scents. And then I got one kitchen lemon for my kitchen. So that's not too bad. I'm okay with that. I'm trying to figure out how much soap we actually go through. It's tough because I have a seven-year-old daughter who is obsessed with bubbles and she will go through like a whole thing of my soap, like in a day, which drives me nuts because this isn't cheap soap. Well, this one is, but usually they're not cheap soap. They're usually $8.50 each. I never pay that, but still, um, so I'm trying to get her not to use excessive soap just to play with. Um, so I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I don't know how long should a bottle of soap last? Do you think we have three people in this house on a normal basis? I would say you should get at least two to three weeks out of a thing of soap. Does that sound normal? I don't know. Let's go on the low end. Let's say a bottle lasts me two weeks. Okay. Let's say our spring and summer season starts in April, April, May, June, July, August. We're kind of getting into fall, but let's count it. That's five months of spring and summer. If we do two bottles a month, that's 10 bottles of spring and summer. And I have eight. Okay. That's probably okay. And then fall is short, right? We kind of have a little bit of August, September, October. Let's say we've got two months. Okay. So four, and I've got four here. And then again, we have Christmas. I guess I should have got winter. 
I don't know how many winter I have because then you've got November, December, January, February, March, five months. So you need 10 bottles of winter soaps. <sighs> I think I'm okay for soap. I think I'm okay. I can make it work because some of these fall scents you can carry into winter, right? I'm sure you can like the cherry almond shortbread. I want to smell that by the way. Is it smell as amazing as it sounds? Oh my God. Yes, it does. Oh my God, you guys, it's so good. I mean, you can use this in winter. Yeah, we'll be fine. So that's typically what I do. Usually on Boxing Day, I do Boxing Day shopping. And usually I go buy my soaps on Boxing Day for the year. Um, but now that I bought these ones, I actually don't think I need to go to Bath and Body Works on Boxing Day this year. Which again, one less thing I have to do on Boxing Day, saving money. Yes, please. Uh, I'm okay with that. My Boxing Day shopping is getting smaller and smaller every year, which is also a win for me because shopaholic. So I'm happy about that. Um, so that's our, our all of our little unboxings. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I love getting stuff in the mail and I love opening boxes. I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as I love opening them. Um, let me know. Bath and Body Works. Yay, nay. Uh, do you also order online or do you like to go to the store? And if you go to the store, do you buy more than you were expecting to? Or are you one of those rare breeds that can actually stick to your list? I've never met one, but I've heard they're out there. Let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.